Hey, if you're a new person in Android developing, uh, it may seem like the resources on the internet are making it harder than it has to be. And I uh, completely agree with that. Today, we're gonna make it simple and get Glide and use it to load an image in Android Studio in less than five minutes of instruction. If you're here, if you clicked on this video, you probably know Glide is an image loading library that makes an efficient use of RAM on your device. You may have made an app with a lot of media and at a certain point it crashes when it has too much media. I did exactly that. Uh, this app used to crash before I implemented Glide and now it, it runs just fine with tons of media. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, here's an outline of what we're about to do in four steps. We're going to go follow a link to download the jar file for Glide. Then we're going to copy that file and paste it into Lib's directory. I'll show you exactly how to get there in Android Studio Project. And uh, we're going to right-click that file and click Add as Library. We'll see how that'll work uh, explicitly, as well as using the once imported Glide to load an image in your project. So let's get started. How are we going to download the jar file? Under the video, I have uh, a URL you can copy paste, or you can just type this in github.com slash bumptech slash glide slash releases. And the top of the page will look something like that. But I'm going to ask you to scroll down. Now there's a few versions of glide that will work. Um, but most conveniently, this 4.7.0, if you scroll down here, you will see uh, something called Glide Full 4.7.0 Jar. It's 659 kilobytes. If you will right click that and then proceed to click as Save Link As and uh, go to your downloads and go ahead and pro click that Save button, okay? Um, once done with that, go ahead and let's get this window out of our way. Uh, go to your downloads. See that it's there. Okay. Uh, highlight it. Control C. Copy that. Bad boy. And uh, we're going to paste it in our Android Studio. But first we need to make a project. So start a new project. I'm going to name my project example. Uh, and next. Next. Empty activity, next, and finish. Okay, let's wait for that to build. Okay, once your project is built, it will look something like this. Uh, so uh, you've got your Java, you've got your XML, but over here you have a little menu called Android. You got this directory here. You wanna click on that drop down and click on project. Um, then the name, I, my, the name of my project is Example 3. If you click on that drop-down menu, you will see um, a folder called App. And go ahead and open that up as well. And we're going to be pasting our jar file into this Libs folder. So go ahead and highlight Libs so it's blue and press Control v to paste. Um, and there it goes, it says 4.7, click OK, and uh, by the way, if you don't see this libs folder under app, you need to click on the app, right click app, and say new directory, and name it libs. Otherwise, once you've got that uh, jar pasted into libs, step three is to right click the jar file, go down the menu, and click add as library, OK. As you can see, it is syncing now, and this usually goes pretty fast. Now it looks like it already synced. You've got Glide, congratulations, you've got Glide in your Android Studio project. Now to actually use it, to actually uh, make it load in an image, I've got also under the video labeled uh, number two. If you just copy this code here, this is some Java code, uh, which will help us get started. Okay, so of course uh, these little squiggly things are always going to be at the bottom, so go ahead and uh, paste that code right there. And you will see we've got some errors uh, by the red here. First, let's pay attention to the glide. All you have to do is 
get your cursor on glide as is and hit alt enter and it'll give you the option to import class go ahead and do that and that easy as you'll see if you, you click on the import here uh, it imported this bump tech glide glide so it is ready to do the work now you just have to resolve these image views because uh, you have not defined an image view in XML yet uh, nor do you have a drawable okay so let's see what's going on in XML get the heck out of that design window to the text view um, and we don't need any hello world stuff so just yeah, get rid of that and let's make an image view okay image view uh, you can just wrap the contents of course uh, you're gonna need an ID Android ID equals at plus ID slash and I'm gonna name my ID frog view because I'm gonna load a picture of a frog let's go ahead and get our picture yours might not be of a frog I'm not gonna judge you for that uh, okay copy and uh, now how do we get a picture into our project well we go back from project to Android and there's a little folder called res open that up click on the drawable and go ahead and control V your picture in there it should control V into just the regular drawable folder press OK OK and uh, now you can open the drawable and see yes indeed it did copy that picture in there um, okay and we got the image view set up and we got the image itself in the directory so let's go back to the Java and have this glide load this image view um, so image view uh, it's another class that needs to be loaded so alt enter the image view and press import class um, now uh, what was our ID for the image view it was for mine it was frog view I don't know what yours was maybe it was like uh, beetle view or something uh, okay and our drawable name is frog so everything looks good now and uh, we named in our Java uh, we named it background and so it's gonna load into background just make sure those two are named the same thing um, and so if you were doing multiple you would want your other ones to be named something different like background 2 background 2 anyways uh, if you hit shift F10 or this fancy play button here we can run the app and see if it actually works of course it takes a while hit OK to run that emulator okay as you can see uh, we built we built it successfully uh, so thank you very much for taking a look at the video I hope it worked for you leave any comments if you have a question uh, but yeah I, I know I struggled uh, with implementing guide glide myself so uh, I hope this was of use to you because glide will make your life a lot easier if you're making an app with a lot of media okay thanks again take it easy